Welcome to this tutorial on automating DNS management using GitHub Actions, Terraform and AWS. In this video, we'll cover the importance of DNS management automation and the tools we'll be using to achieve it. I want to quickly cover why automating your DNS management matters. We believe it's crucial to maintaining a stable and accessible online presence. For one, automation helps reduce human error, saves time and improves collaboration among team members which is perhaps the most important point as you can open access to DNS management without compromising security and in fact, in many cases, enhancing it, which I'm sure your InfoSec colleagues would appreciate very much. Let's dive right in. So, while I have chosen to use AWS S3 as the backend, Terraform supports several different backends, including all the major cloud providers. And you can find the link to the Terraform documentation in the description below. And don't worry about writing down the code. You can find a link to the repository, which includes all the code in this tutorial. Okay, here we have the GitHub action workflow that runs on every pull request. It runs the following steps. First, it checks out the code into the runner, then proceeds to run Terraform format check. Then we initialize in the current directory, pulling any of the configured providers. And before we run the Terraform plan, we check whether our code is valid or not. And as a final step, we take the results from all the previous steps and create a comment on the pull request, including the execution plan, so that the author and reviewers can see exactly what changes are going to happen. Next is the release action which, is, which runs every time we push to the main branch. It has a reduced set of steps, focusing on applying the changes we want to make. And okay, here we have a DNS simple zone record resource that will create a URL redirect record at the DNS.solutions domain. And I hope you can quickly start to imagine how different teams can collaborate on making changes. For example, marketing creating verification DNS records for landing pages and marketing campaigns. And as a bonus, I also wanted to show that you can set up Dependabot to also update your Terraform providers, making sure you're always up to date. Now let's create a PR and see the magic happen. We'll commit the changes, write the semi-descriptive commit message and push. Let's follow the link and create a PR. I will slightly tweak the title and add myself as the assignee and create. Okay, here is the result of the workflow we saw earlier. We have a comment that tells us the outcomes of the steps we care about and it has the execution plan. As expected, we see exactly the changes we want in the plan. And sure enough, my pull request has been approved and we can go ahead and merge it to main. As you can imagine, rules can be set so that PRs can only be merged once the appropriate approval is given. Let's head to the action that is going to apply the changes we see. Um, and let's see what, what has happened there. Seem like, seems like it's still running. Let's give it a moment. And there we go. We can see that the record has been created at DNS Simple and we can go ahead and test it. Let's write the name in the URL bar and enter. Just as expected, we are redirected to the HashiCorp landing page and we made this possible by using GitHub Actions and Terraform. Thank you for watching and if you liked the tutorial and want to see other topics, leave your comment below with your request. And remember, if you're not already a DNS Simple customer, you can find the sign up link in the description below.